Yo, what's going on guys? Terribly Tactical back at the tabletop and today we're looking at some pretty cool stuff. Uh, specifically, the special operations equipment knife pouches and all their versatility. Uh, but inside of these pouches, there's some pretty cool knives. So let's check it out. Uh, first and foremost, the uh, the MKT, obviously not in an SOE pouch. We're gonna have to fix that. Um, although the one provided with the blade is, is not half bad, but not nearly as versatile as the SOE ones. And it's not customizable. Everybody gets the same pouch. How boring is that? But just for eye candy, we're gonna go down the line. Oh yeah, getting all unzipped, baby. We're gonna go down the line and show you guys some knives. So here is the Praetorian Scout, okay, black PVD D2 blade, G10, real nice, real nice, aggressive G10, um, Betsy Ross, glass breaker, that thing in and of itself is a gut shovel, absolutely awesome, love it, um, I've carried it, I've used it, you know, every now and then I'll rotate stuff in and out, and uh, that's, that's definitely always in the rotation, okay. What do we got in here? Hmm, this is the new one. This is the new one. Special Operations Equipment Knife Pouch, Friday the 13th edition. Came with this little patch underneath, same thing. So I could put this on something else, which will be cool, because I still got the logo on here, but obviously patch panels denote whatever you want on there. And uh, what do we got in here? What do we have in this one? And while we're doing that, oh geez, what is that? What is that? Um, I'll tell you what it is. This is the 25th anniversary collectible coin made out of pure silver, one ounce coin, that goes to the 25th year anniversary Blade Show exclusive bayonet style Microtech Ultratech. Let's see if we can get that in focus here. A little blurry. A little blurry. Focuses more down here. But awesome awesome blades i'm a huge fan of microtech i think they make the best automatic knives on the market they are all made in the great united states of america which so is this so is that can you guys read that does that need to be focused better so you can read that i think you guys could read that so yeah microtech big microtech guy i've got a bunch of them this is just a couple samplings here and um, I, I needed I needed a pouch for this nice knife because I didn't have one. All it all it was doing was sitting in the box, sitting in the old cardboard box. And then what do we got in this one? What do we have in this one? Oh geez, oh 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 geez, got a little monkey monkey edge silicone cloth. And then in this, got a Microtech Ultratech G10 and aluminum. Tonto blade, baby. Glass breaker. Excellent action. Just amazing knives. Absolutely amazing knives. I love them. Uh, Microtex are probably my favorite blades um, out there. Just because. Um, uh oh, let's do one of these things. <laughs> I'm a nerd, dude. I'm an absolute nerd. But yeah, there's some knife porn for you guys. Real quick. Just getting into it, because everybody, oh, knife pouch, you want to see what's inside. So there is nothing crazy, nothing too fancy, nothing too special, um, but definitely some awesome blades that can be a workhorse for you. Uh, you could lift a manhole cover with this thing. These make excellent, excellent, excellent defensive tactical style blades. Um, you know, easy one-handed manipulation. Um, you don't have to worry about, you know, it collapsing on you and chopping your fingers off. Worst case scenario, it goes back into the the scales, and um, just excellent. I, I love Microtech. They use a lot of high-quality materials. They're very finely made. Same thing with Medford Knife and Tool. Like I said, this thing's a gut shovel, and this thing should probably be the one that goes into the Friday the 13th um, pouch because that looks like, you know, if Jason had an EDC knife, it would probably be a Medford Praetorian. I mean, it just makes sense. I mean, this thing is a chunk. This thing is solid. This thing is a freaking gut shovel. And uh, it probably will end up in there because that's starting to make a lot more sense. Um, but now I'm back to square one because now I need another one for the uh, the 25th anniversary. So I guess I will have to make another order with SOE, which is fine. Doesn't bother me none. 
But yeah, I think that's a good look. That's a good look right there. Uh, that's that's to be taken later on Instagram. We're going to have a pic of that. Check that out, guys. Um, but yeah, let's go over what you get in your pouch, okay? So inside the knife pouch itself, because that's what the whole video is about, and I get distracted even by myself playing with knives. Um, so patch panels, patch panels, actual paracord. Really nice, smooth zippers. Really nice, smooth zippers. Completely clamshells. Inside, more Velcro for patches or whatever you want. Um, you could label your stuff. And you've got plenty of room. Plenty of room inside for knives, tools, whatever you want to do. Uh, even besides the whole point about knives and being knife pouches, these things work excellently for a little tiny trauma kit, a little tiny med kit, something like that. Just normal EDC stuff. Um, you could fit a lot of stuff in here. This will also kind of work as like a makeshift wallet if you've got stacks upon stacks of cash. I don't, unfortunately, because I keep buying stuff like this all the time. I don't know what's wrong with me. They're completely customizable. Any camo pattern that you want, um, any thread color that you want, you know, within reason, you can get it how you like it, and that's super cool. But functionality-wise, um, real Cordura, it's going to hold up through the test of time. It's durable. And, uh, you know, it's just a simple pouch. How, how long of a video can Terribly Tactical make on a simple pouch? Um, I guess maybe five to eight minutes long, the rate we're going. But I like it. Deep pockets that go all the way down. Easily store as many knives as you want in here. Uh, you can lay some stuff in the middle. Again, med kit, EDC kit. Um, little, you know, kits to have in your bug out bag or your go bag, your assault pack, your EDC pack, whatever. Um, you know, phone, charger kit, whatever you need. I mean, let your imagination run wild. But for the money these things cost, which depending on how you get it configured, um, you know, they're around 30 to 50 bucks around there somewhere. I think they're worth absolutely every penny, and uh, they're just super useful. I got a bunch of them. I'm going to have to get more, um, get another one for this bad boy, but uh, I like them. For the quality of craftsmanship, hand-built in America by Americans, um, I think they're awesome as knife pouches. I've got them in, in service in other capacities as well. You know, little tiny med kits, little admin stuff. Put your phone chargers in there, the camera chargers, the whatever, extra batteries, stuff like that. Uh, worth every penny. Get it how you like it um, and shop with them. They, I think personally they make the best gear around uh, as far as nylon gear is considered. But hopefully you guys liked the video. Um, hopefully you guys liked a little bit of knife porn. And uh, that being said, guys, please remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. All that stuff helps me out a ton you guys have no idea and uh, check the links the first three links in the description box below because those are going to help you directly fight for your god-given inalienable gun rights which are ever under attack and always 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 important furthermore if you support what i do here and you want to help financially support the channel please check any of the the links in the description box below affiliate codes coupon codes links all that stuff because um, i do get a little bit of a kickback and that helps out a ton that being said guys thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you next time peace